I'd like yeah. to get on the phone. We have infectious disease specialist at the University of California, San Francisco, Dr. Joel Pilevsky. Dr. Pilevsky, you've spent a lot of your career dealing with the HPV virus, working with these vaccines. Can you, can you update us on some of the statistics and, and why, in your medical opinion, the vaccine can be effective versus its potential for adverse effects? The question really is, is this vaccine worth giving? And that's a combination of looking at the benefits and the potential adverse events. The benefits in this country are primarily related not only to prevention of cervical cancer, but also the changes that we ask women to come for pap smears for to try and avoid those from happening in the first place. And the other benefit, I will say, is prevention of genital warts, which, while they don't kill people, they are a major problem in the young population. We're all extremely concerned about watching for adverse events. You know, the Hippocratic Oath says, above all, do no harm. And, and so this is a major focus for us. The clinical trials themselves, uh, done on tens of thousands of people, have not shown any clearly vaccine-related serious adverse effects. And the data from the general population support that. So what we have to say so far is that for as long as we've had the vaccine implemented, which is since about 2006, there is no what we call in the business signal suggesting that there is an increased rate of serious adverse events related to the vaccine.